think uh, John Fox is an outstanding coach. I think he's proven that. First of all, any coach that gets let go to goes 12 and 4 in the National Football League, you better check the people who are above him. Because that's an outstanding record in the National Football League as competitive as it is today. And it's really competitive. And John's done a great job everywhere. He's been in Carolina, Denver. He's a good coach. He's, uh, his background with defense, I think that really where the Bears need the most help on defense right now. They need more consistency on offense, but they need a structure on defense, and they need some players, and they don't have them. So you got a new general manager, you got a new coach, and I think they're willing to make a commitment to go out there and try to get, you know, the best players they can get and make the Bears the best football team they can be. What about Jay Cutler? Well, I, you know, Jay Cutler is the talent. I think the important thing about being a quarterback in the National Football League, and if you look at Brady, or you look at Manning, or you look at Breeze, you look at any of the quarterbacks, like, you have to be the commander-in-chief. You have to be the leader on and off the field. You have to be the guy that your teammates look up to on both sides of the ball. And I think that's very important. Jay has to understand that. Uh, Has he shown that he can do that in the past? Yeah, that I don't know. That I, I really, I, watching him, I, I think that he needs to exert more leadership. I think that would be the, the most important thing. If I was, if I was advising him, that's what I got. Tell him well, football talent is a small part of the equation. It's important, yeah, it's important. Speed's important too. But heart, the heart and, 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 and the leadership. And you know, listen, I had a quarterback that, he wasn't fancy, but he was a leader. Everybody on the team respected him because he put his ass on the line every play. You know, he, he went out there and played for the team. And that's what you got to do. I mean, it's not about, I can't worry about my uniform getting dirty. You know, he went out there and played like a, a guard. You're talking about McMahon? Well, who the hell I think I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Buckman? That could be Buckman. I think if I had a young kid right now, I'd encourage him to play golf. I'd, play, I'd encourage him to play another sport. Football right now, and it doesn't matter. You can, you can do anything you want to say. You can put all the rules in you want to. Football is not a contact sport. It's a collision sport. Now, the helmet has become the most sophisticated piece of equipment a player wears. Therefore, he has no fear of striking you with his head. And that will come back to haunt you later in life. That's the problem. How do you, I don't know how you fix it. I, I, I really don't. I mean, I, I think uh, they get to the point right now where I think people... A lot of people that watch football like it for that, for the fact that people get knocked on their butt and get hit hard and, and this and that. But it's brutal. I mean, and you know, you think, well, okay, I'm going to teach tackle. I'm going to teach you to tackle with the shoulder, which everybody did growing up. We all learned that way. But it's such a split second thing. It happens so damn quick that when you your head's in there and boom. But a lot of guys actually, uh, you know, they spear with the head because they have no fear because of the helmet. I, there's no solution to it. I'm not. I'm not advocating a solution. I'm not telling you to take the face mask off. I don't. I don't know what you do, but I mean that's part of the problem. So when somebody asked me about it, if I had my brothers right now, none of my kids would play football anywhere but in its kids. Uh, I would say, hey, here's a set of golf clubs. Go get it. <laughs>